He beat him this time. And he got first. Now he's beating trip. He took the light. He just ran it. He just ran the light. Hey everybody, Tech Bishop here. I'm doing a video today. I, I've already done a sneak preview of the accident that I had. And this is going to be some of the evidence that I have that she couldn't have had a red light when I got to the intersection. Just the mere fact of me entering the intersection switches the lights. She was traveling eastbound, which the road goes east and west. This road always wants to be green. The road she was traveling on always wants to be green. If there's no traffic, it's green. If any traffic comes in from the north or the southbound lanes, it immediately changes to yellow and red. And I'm going to prove that here. The <clears throat> video looks a little long, but at the end, I got some video put in where it's just kind of redundant showing that the light goes over and over and over like I said it does. And this is mainly for, well, for two purposes. This is going to be for the insurance adjusters and the collection place, wherever that office is. I'm trying to make a video that makes sense to people that's not familiar with the area. So if any of my uh, subs want to comment, it's greatly appreciated if you watch this video, if you have time and comment because you guys don't know the area either and I want to see if I'm making sense of my case as to what happened in that time and how she could not have had a green light like she said she did. And all my facts, this is the police report, I'm not going to read it, but all my facts in this video do match this report. And they'll have this if I have to. I mean, this is going to go to court if I have to. Hopefully the adjusters will stop it. And if it don't stop there, I'm going to carry it to court because I'm not going to put this on my license. And just let me know if you think this is, proves it to you, since you also know nothing about the case, or know nothing about the area. Do I make sense to you? And all comments are welcome, and all jokes, smart cracks are welcome too, so whatever you want to put down there. Jokes are welcome. It's all good. Tag Bishop, and here's the video. Okay, <clears throat> see if this explains it like I want. This is the, this car represents the eastbound lane. This is the car that actually hit me, eastbound lane. This lane is a left turn lane this lane is a westbound lane this lane is a westbound lane this lane this way is a southbound lane this is a southbound lane that I was traveling in I pull up to this intersection the light turns yellow I see it I've stopped I, ha I have a red light I pull up and stop I have a red light I see the lights opposing lights turn yellow and red then mine goes green and here I go up to the light this is exactly what it looked like in my vantage point pull up see the trip wire right there I trip the lights you stop and you go I start going into the intersection but you know this is uh these are all like 10 feet, maybe 8 to 10 feet lanes. I travel this far, I'm going about 10 to 15 miles an hour, and I see this car approaching the intersection. And this car has already stopped. There's a car over here that stopped. This car is coming in. It looks normal. You see it coming in as I'm coming here. I see it coming in here. Looks okay till I get here, and then I can tell when it gets in this area, it's still going 30, 35 miles an hour. I know it's not going to stop when I get here. So I'm looking at the car. I can see the driver and they're looking down. And I said earlier they were texting. I, I can't prove that yet. But they were looking down. They never looked. She hit me square in the door. The car, if she'd have put any brakes on at all, the nose would have went down. She hit flush on level perfect into those doors at full height There's no skid marks or drag marks same with my vehicle and here one more time is what it looked like going in my direction 
coming up here I do have a red light when I came up here <clears throat> she's coming from this direction over here now you watch as soon as I hit this trip wire see the light turns yellow look I haven't even got to the intersection yet I stop here at the red it goes green I go just about as fast I look this way and she's right there coming full speed and I look at her she's not even looking it gets knocked up like this and spun around in the air and lands in this direction in the crosswalk I don't have enough room but this would be I move this over this would actually be the crosswalk now I get out and she's pushed me around she's turned like this this is where we're sitting now this is this is the uh, this is his lane now he's still sitting there I jump out and look up the traffic light is directly over my head I see the light still green I see this guy I'm like okay good he sees I have the green light the car there's coming just like she was that one right there she hit me right there we ended up here in the crosswalk I was facing westbound I was directly under that light because when I opened the door I looked straight up and I had the green light right there in that light right there in the crosswalk she was a little bit off over here I was sitting this way she was facing that way then the fire truck stopped here and the ambulance stopped right there in that driveway so so I run right here and I open her door see if she's okay she's screaming about her leg so I kind of tell her you know, just don't move I call 911 right in front of her I said they're coming a mile then a half a mile this way is the fire department this is main downtown area so there's police by here every five seconds surprised one of them won't even in the area to see it but I tell her to be calm everything's fine she's still crying but it doesn't look like she's crying and I look in the back seat and there's a little four-year-old girl back here so I start talking to her telling her everything's okay by the time I get that out of my mouth here comes a cop he flies right up in here well now I look this car here is gone he is out of there so there goes my witness he flies up pulls right here and says what happened I told him what happened he was saying what happened as soon as he got out of the door I told him what happened what I just told you he asked her she has no idea she said I don't know what happened which the story matches because she wasn't looking you know no evidence on her face the entire time when she till she hit me that she was not looking so she had no idea what happened okay so he goes on he gets my license and registration he starts running around well he's trying to find witnesses then he comes back he asked me again he said what happened so I, I tell him again then his supervisor comes in here by this time the fire truck is pulled right here his supervisor says what happened so I tell his supervisor I've told my story three times I found later on that they said that the first story is always right before you have time to make up your story and this is what they said her story was I don't know what happened I have no idea my story was what I just showed you now when she gets into the ambulance which is over here which I showed in another video or I will show before she talks on the phone to somebody now she's telling the officer she calls him over I had a green light all the way that's all she knows she had a green light all the way so whatever but I don't know why you would take your car if you had a green light and you're looking and you got this giant SUV coming and you're looking at your green light at 35 miles an hour and this truck pulls out at 10 to 15 any car will stop almost instantly at 35 miles an hour she could have avoided that if she was looking at all with this monster truck I drive so anyway that's proof that she wasn't looking all right now when she gets to the hospital she's telling another story but the cop said that it was evident of what was at the scene she tells the insurance adjuster that her car 
was knocked spinning down this block and ended up in the parking lot of the funeral home that I showed here and the amulet stopped right there in that driveway so when the accident was over I had strapped that running board up cops said I could go it was safe enough to go so I'd drive it on to work which is a mile down this way he takes her car he can't get in that driveway there he doesn't want to block the funeral homes driveway here their parking lot is right over here you see the driveway down there that's a normal city block away right there where he parks her car so the record driver can safely get it she tells the insurance company that she was knocked from this intersection spinning out of control all the way down there and ended up in that parking lot somehow and I think she actually believes that that's my story everybody vote if you would let me know what you think and who's at fault all I had to go by what she says what I just told you three different stories the first story was she had no idea what happened second story was a statement I have green light all the way third story was just what was evident at the scene and fourth story that she was knocked down to the um, funeral home and she does have two broken legs and a broken arm because this truck here weighs about 7,000 pounds and she was driving a Monte Carlo and all that energy she put on that truck went back in her direction so they are they're a good investment if you want to be safe I mean I didn't even get hurt at all but that's what happened let me know what you think and I appreciate you watching later here comes somebody now there's the green lights going in her direction coming up on the trip wire you see the solid white line is that quick it tripped she's got a red light that's what I did I pulled out 10 miles an hour bang here comes another one, he's still got a green light. See, he even still made it. Here comes another one southbound, just like I did. Here he they got a green light. There's a solid white line. As soon as he touches that trip wire, Light switched to yellow. They still ain't got to just got to the intersection. They're already red. That's where I pulled through, and right there is what I got nailed. And do it over. There's one more. There's a solid white line. You see the green light. Trip. There's at least. 20 feet, 25 feet behind the white line and I pull forward right there. And they'll go next. And another one. Red. 